on this uh, next problem, we want to evaluate x over y, where x equals to 4.62. Y that equals to zero point three. So that means we're going to do what with these two? Divide, right? Where the four point six two that's of course in the numerator is zero point three. That's in the denominator. Okay, so that means we have to move that decimal point how many places? One. One, or both, right? So we're looking at 46.2 divided by 3, right? Denominator goes in our divisor, 46.2. divide 3 into 4? Yes. Yeah, we can. So we start there. So that's 1 times 3 is 3. Bring the 1 down. Okay, bring the 6 down. So now 3 divides into 16. 5, right? So 5 times 3, that's 15. Bring the 1 down. Bring the 2 down. So 3 divides into 12, four times, right? And we're done. Okay, so this is an exact answer here. We don't have to approximate it or round it off. And it doesn't ask us to do that. So we can stop here at 15.4. Okay, this decimal terminates. So uh, we're, we know, you know, this one was not too long. It stopped just after the, the tenths place. Okay? And that's our answer. Now let's say that we wanted to convert our uh, fraction to a decimal.
that subtracts, right, and we get 10. Well, 15 doesn't divide into 10, so what do we do now? Add another, another zero, right, and then bring that zero down. And so 15, uh, that can divide into 100. Well, let's see, if 15, uh, 4 times 15 is 60, 5 times 15, that would be 75, right? 6 times 15, that would be, let's see what we get there. 6 times 5 is 30, right? 3, that would be 90, right? So that'll be 100 minus 90, that's going to give us 10. Bring 0. And so, again, you see that 6 goes into 15, 6 into 15 divides into 100 6 times. So what happens here? It's going to repeat, repeat. It's going to repeat, right? And it's going to continue. And so what you're going to end up getting here is 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6. So you six, put six, the line over the 6. Right. And it just goes on forever like that. So what we do is we just say, all right, this is our answer here is going to be I'm trying to get enough room here. 0 0.46. And we put a bar over the 6 to show that the 6 repeats. And you only put a bar over the, the number that repeats. Okay, so we don't put a bar over the 4, just over the 6. Okay, because if you put a bar, what happens is if you put a bar over the 4 as well, like 0.46 like that, what you get here is 0.46, 46, 46, 46. And the 4 and the 6 repeat, and there are decimals that repeat like that. So you got to be careful to put the bar just over the, the 6, okay? And that's called a repeating decimal. All right, any questions with that?